What is happening, y'all? Mr. Koopa here, and I'm here for another setup tutorial on the Resident Evil 1 Seamless HD setup. Uh, several people in the comments on my first video, my first attempt at making this, have had some difficulty setting it up, so I figured I'm gonna give a clear and concise setup. Now, again, this is gonna be based on the Media Kite version of Resident Evil on PC, which, naturally, in the video description, I'm not able to provide a download link. I did mention in the last video, Internet Archive is your friend, but just for brevity, there will be a pinned comment with the link in order to go and get the exact copy of the game that we will be using for this setup. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the desktop right quick, downloads. I have all the download files right here. I'm going to be breaking them down one at a time in order to show you exactly what we need to do. Now, first is the Biohazard Media Kite, the Media Kite release. What we're going to do first, out here in your little open space on your desktop, we are going to create a file. I'm just going to name it Resident Evil. I already have a copy of it on my desktop, so I'm going to call it Test. Just Test. And we're going to right-click the ISO file that you're going to procure. Again, download comment. Our download link is going to be in the comment section. Pen comment. Good stuff. Mount up. All right, this is our file directory. We're gonna drag and drop the biohazard exe. And this is very important. This might be the issue a lot of you guys have been having. This file right here, HOR, H-O-R-R, -R, if you drag it specifically, it will not work. You have to open it and drag the JPN file. This is where all of the resources for the game are. Those are the only two files that you need from the actual uh, ISO disk. So we're going to wait for that to transfer over. That is a very important tidbit that has been a change lately that I've seen. I did not see that. Whenever I set up, I set it up for the first time, I believe it was just the JPN file, but I could be wrong. Or I could have just figured it out. Anyway, we're going to unmount the DVD, get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. Goodbye. Now, these are all of our files. We're going to go ahead and extract them all, and then I'm going to drag them up onto the screen and show you what they are one at a time, as well as where to find them. Yep, that's right. Some of these will take longer than others. This is just... I could have prepped this better, but I wanted to show you what the files are named so that we can actually figure out what they are. I thought about right-clicking and renaming them all just to make it, you know, simple, but you're not gonna... If I rename them, it's not gonna be what you're gonna see when you extract these things. Okay, uh, Seamless HD Project. Last one. TikTok goes to clock. This video shouldn't be more than like five minutes because I'm able to get it to work every time using these exact set, uh, these exact steps now. All right, boom. All right, that's all of them. So this right here is Media Kite 1.01. This is the classic rebirth patch. I'm gonna make my icons bigger. Where's view? Large. As large as I can make them anyway. What else we have? This is Team X. And this is Seamless HD. So these first two files are the guts of the game itself. This is the Media Kite version 1.01 patch. And this is the Classic Rebirth patch. Both of which can be found right here on this link, which I will be providing in the description. You will click Classic Rebirth DLL, which is the Rebirth patch. And down here at the bottom, or near the bottom, third from the bottom, official 1.01 patch by Capcom. You will click both of these and download in order to get the file that we're about to utilize. I'm gonna close that out because we don't need it anymore. Once you've extracted the files, drag drop, replace. And then for the rebirth DLL, drag drop, and you're done. Now this is where things get interesting. This first file right here, this is the Team X mod. Team X mod is the resources, the backgrounds, the textures, everything that the Seamless HD mod is going to load. That download can be found on this link at mod, uh, moddb.com. I'm going to provide you the exact link to come here. Download now at 654.22 megabytes, and you will be good to go. Once you've extracted a file, we're going to open it like I already did. This is another thing that's been hanging people up. Bio1DC is the director's cut assets. I have tested this, and whenever both of those, those assets and the original assets are both in play, the game gets confused and decides not to load any or 
loads the wrong ones, or sometimes you have weird shadows or objects that aren't loading in, like black marks where something would be. So the best fix I have found is get rid of it. You don't need it. Everything that remains on the Team X mod, drag drop and replace anything it asks you to. And the last download, this is the Seamless HD project, which can be found on this link, which is again, mod DB, exact link in the description. This one uh, usually says how much it is, but there's a download link. Just download it, easy peasy. Just a full on overhaul mod. Resident Evil Seamless HD project. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. 272.7 megabytes. So I had the wrong page, but this will be the exact link that I'm gonna send into the description. This just enables the Team X mod to load. Let me uh, copy this very quick because we're gonna use it later. All right, close that out. We already have it open. Again, Bio1DC, get rid of it. Read me, this is just steps to install Seamless HD. Get rid of it. Everything else into your file directory. Replace all files as needed. This always takes a minute. There we go. Voila! Everything is loaded up. So now, you're going to go to your main directory, open it up, and launch the Biohazard EXE. Everything is loaded. It's going to give you the no config INI thing. It's going to pop up with this menu. I always drop the resolution to full screen, but I am rocking 4K and a 4090. I just rock whatever. So what else we got here? Quick turn and tactical reload is fine. Uh, you can't use it on a speed run and it kind of is not part of the classic experience that so I'll turn it on. I do leave texture filtering on though. Color scheme, I've never figured this out, so I don't care. Enable movies, yada, 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 whatever. Hit OK when you're ready. Have your controller on before you launch the INI file or you're gonna have to just restart it. But you're gonna get this right here, mod selection. You will hit the drop down, dev, seamless HD project. If you don't get this, something went horribly wrong. And then press OK. You're gonna get an updated Capcom screen. And an updated movie. <laughs> and at the very bottom, you'll see Resident Evil HD mod by Team X. Now, keep in mind that if you mess up one of these steps, you could still see that down there, but this start screen will be all pixelated and stuff. But the best way that you can tell if you're unsure is hit new game. And you will see the upgraded character select screens. As you can see, both Chris and Jill are very much high res. And we're just going to load it up and skip the cutscene, but there is an updated movie. Let's go take a look and look at it. It's what beautiful. Is wow, what a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. We don't need to go through all this. Anyway, that's how you set this up properly. If you have any issues, please hit me up in the comments. I painstakingly tested this all weekend and found that this exact step-by-step -step process on the exact copy of Media Kite that I will be posting on a pinned comment is exactly how to get this to work. Now there is a possibility. I did test it out, but was it uh, DG Voodoo can cause issues. My recommendation is to remove it if you have it. Uh, further notes, if you are a speedrunner, you cannot use any of these mods. You have to use a fresh copy of the game. And if you're using the GOG version, if you're using the GOG version, you can just set it up the exact same way. Keep in mind, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 require a source next conversion for the GOG versions. Resident Evil 1 does not. Anyway, I really hope this helped everybody out. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. I will be happy to assist. I think every Resident Evil fan should experience this game in this manner at least once. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if this helped you out. And I'm going to be planning a similar setup video for the Resident Evil 2 Seamless HD setup. There is an issue 
in which like a WebM file isn't extracting whenever I set it up. Once I figure that out, I'm going to make a video for it as well. Until then, I will see you all next time.